Hello, it's Alicia and today I'd like to invite you to my stretching session. So roll your mat down and let's get started. We're going to start lying down on our back. So slowly roll yourself down. Vertebra by vertebra, making yourself comfortable on the mat, elevate through the neck. Lift your right leg up and hold on to the back of your leg, press with your head down, flex your foot and point your toes. We're going to do eight of those, just gently, you should feel a nice stretch from the heel all the way up to the glutes. And a few more. Just bring the awareness into those muscles that you're working right now. And be aware. Last one here. Flex your foot and hold. We're going to hold that here. And straighten the other leg down on the floor. Hold. Few breaths here. Deep breaths. If you need to bend the other leg, that's fine. Keep yourself in the floor. Maybe you've already stretched it and that's fine. 
mind is comfort, you want to feel something, that's when the beautiful work happens. Try not to lift your chin up. Keeping your head in line with your spine. Three more breaths. And bend that knee. Press with your knee in towards the armpit again and hold. You're not going to hold it for long. Straighten the leg and again grab the leg from the outside. Maybe inside is better for you. Maybe a bit lower down and that is very individual. Very um, depending on uh, single person. So bring your arm out to the side and gently now fall towards it and push across. So the toes are slightly pointing on a diagonal here. And breathe. Turning the head the other side, but you need to keep your head in line with your shoulder. And bring the leg back, bend the knee, and this time move the knee across and twist. And again, you're going to be twisting to the extent that feels right for you. So, very tricky position for some, that's why I'd like you to be very gentle and aware. Slowly moving into your stretches so you're not over stretching your uh, body. Easing into your stretches with each exhale. Okay, back into the middle. And now I'd like you to bring your knees in towards the chest, lift the feet up, knees to armpit, push with your hips down, knees to, and press, sorry, press with your hands onto your feet, and push with your hips down. Great. That feels really good, a happy baby pose, allowing you to open up from the hips, because your knees are wide apart, your legs are wide apart, but also adding quite a nice stretch into your hip flexors. And now I'd like your feet to be together, legs together, and we're going to rock ourselves up into a seated position. And from your seated position, starting on one side, keeping your feet on one side of your hip, I'd like you to move your top foot and get your heel closer to the foot. Push forward with your hip and hold. You can start with your other knee pointing to the top of the mat if you'd like to take it deeper and hold. If you're quite capable of, you can try to hook your foot with the elbow. Stay here. If you'd like to go into the proper and full mermaid stretch, Lift the other arm up, move your arm behind your head and find your fingertips. Nice stretch into the shoulder area as well at the same time as you push in with your head into your upper arm. But again, we're not straining, not getting there, that's fine. Just maintain that hip opener here and breathe. Release. Send your foot onto the outside of the other thigh and now both of your knees are stuck to one on top of the other. The outside edges of your feet are on the ground and the sole of your feet facing backwards. Find your sit bones. Do as much as you can again and maybe crossing your legs might be a better variation for you here. Reach with your arms up. Relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And now send your hands down. And we're going to drop the chest down. Maybe you will want to walk your hands down and then send the head down. Hold.
Okay, and back up. We're going to change sides. So to change sides, I bring my hands on the inside of the foot that is on uh, on the outside of the leg of the other leg. I then push the hips up, roll the hands around, and then I end up in the same position. So if you're not doing what I've just done, you change legs the usual way. So you want your hips to be uh, down on the ground and you want your knees to be one stacked on top of the other. Elongate through the spine, reach up with the crown of your head. And again, bring your arms out to the side and up. Relax the shoulders. Bring the hands on each side of your legs, drop the chest down and press with the chest into your legs as much as you can. Maybe walk your hands just a little bit further forward and hold it here. This is a very good stretch onto the muscles um, around your hip and also your glute. And push yourself up again and reversing the order slightly, moving into a mermaid stretch. So I'm going to point with my knee to the opposite end of the mat now as, I, as we change the sides and grab the foot which is outside of the hip. Slightly move that knee back so you get a little bit more of an opening within that hip girdle and press with the heel closer to the glute and stay tall. For some of you that might be just enough and maybe some of you will want to take it further. So you can hook your foot from underneath with your elbow and stay here. We're breathing in to the stretching muscle, breathing out, letting all the tension go. If you are quite happy and capable of doing so, reach with the other arm up and find your fingertips. Just bear in mind that will be different on one side and the other, as probably most of the stretches that we are doing today, they feel different one side to the other. And breathe. Two more breaths. And release. And again, just to do the same circle, if you were changing sides with me, let's try to do that again. Place your foot on the outside of your opposite thigh, thigh and lift your hip up, walk your fingertips onto the other side and drop the hip down. Perfect. Are you with me still? Good. Great. So the next stretch is for your shoulder and we're going to do that from all four positions. So your hands are staying directly underneath your knees, uh, underneath your shoulders of course, and your knees are staying directly underneath your head. One arm is reaching across the mat and through the gap you create with your body, send the shoulder down, head down, but reach with the top arm above your ear and hold. Try not to move your hip to the, uh, to the side. Keep the hips nice and high. And breathe. This is thread and needle kind of variation here. It is, try to um, compare it to something at all. That will be your thread and needle. And we're going to stay here for just a little bit longer because it feels good. Also, this stretch we will implement into our next one. So there will be combined variation of pigeon with a twist. But that's still to come. So stay with me. Don't go anywhere. You're doing well and perhaps feeling well. Let's change sides. Push yourself up. And again. Thread the needle on the other side, arm across, shoulder down, move the top arm above your ear 
and hold. Energy, ready to come up, coming up onto your hands and knees again. This time, bring your right knee closer to your right hand, okay, slide that knee forward. Moving your foot to the opposite side of the mat, so the shin is more or less parallel to the top of the mat. Then slide your left leg further back, as far back as it will feel right for you and try to settle here in a way that your hips are staying square, keeping your hips square to the mat, keep your chest open and breathe. And now I'd like you to hinge forward from the waist, send the chest down and send your forehead down. as it is or you can add the rotation so you can try if it doesn't work if it doesn't work stretch the right arm in front of you left arm thread and needle variation head down upper arm over your ear and hold this is a very deep stretch so if that doesn't feel right release and stick with the previous variation when you keep your chest square to the mat. And lift back up. Okay, let's change the sides. So from here, before we change, I'd like you to go into a downward facing dog that will allow us to stretch our back, shoulders and hamstrings. Let's start walking on the spot. And you should feel a difference on the right and left side just because we did the pinching on one side, not the other. Okay, now I'd like you to step your left foot in between your hands and then square your feet, okay? So we are in a wide-legged forward fold and from your wide-legged forward fold, you're going to send your head down. The crown of your head is going to point down towards the mat. If you can, rest the crown of your head down on the floor. Okay, fabulous, lift and change in the sides. Bring your hands on each side of the right foot so you can step the right foot back into down dog. And from your downward facing dog, I'd like you to move your left knee closer to the left hand, sliding your knee forward. Send the foot across to the right side of the mat. Again, we aim for the shin to be parallel to the top of the mat. This is in the ideal world. We do not live in the ideal world, so whatever you do will be just good enough. Okay, it will be just fine. As long as you feel this beautiful stretch within your glute. Hips down, walk your hands forward. Drop the chest down, forehead down. Take deep breaths before we move into the next twisted variation. Uh, 
And we can lift your chest up. And now stretch the left arm in front of your right arm underneath and bend your um, other elbow so you can rest your head down as well as the shoulder. Upper arm over your ear and hold. Again, very deep stretch. Maybe you're not quite ready to go all the way down. Maybe you just want to stay halfway up. Or maybe this is the time to square your chest back to the mat. Wherever you are, just maintain that position. Some of you may feel pinches within the groin area rather than the glute. It's just very good stretch for many parts. Okay, push yourself up. And we're going to lift the hips back up into uh, down dog. And now step your right foot in between your hands and square your feet. And this time we're going to move the opposite hand on the opposite leg. As close to your ankle as possible as well. Then reach with the other arm or elongate through the back and twist. Over to the other side and twist. And back into the center. From the center, walk your feet closer to each other. And once in that forward fold position, I'm just going to turn around so you can see exactly where I'd like you. I'd like you to bend your knees and drop your chest on your leg. Keep those hips as high up as possible. Head down. And from here, slowly roll back up. Shoulders head coming up last. Fabulous. Thank you so much for joining this short demonstration of my favorite stretches. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you feel um, good and I'm um, looking forward to seeing you soon. Take care for now and bye.